hello everybody in this match we're gonna go over the basic concepts that allow you to win every single game all right or at least you you do your best and you won me nine nine out of ten games all right so well first thing here is your mental what do i mean by mental mental you need to focus on your goal okay what do i mean by this is that when you are having a tough situation when you're actually playing and trying to 1v9 the match from the very first of the match sometimes it doesn't go as planned right most of the matches that you win are not going to be a match where you are actually getting a lot of kills or getting very fed from the very start of the game that usually doesn't happen okay what happens is something like this you are trying to 1v9 you are trying to fight this kind of this kind of stuff but at the end of the day if you make one little mistake especially if you're playing with an enchanter you make one little mistake what's gonna end up happening is that you're gonna end up getting killed all right like for example here i dodged i do i did not dodge this i dodged everything else before but i did not dodge one w and i get destroyed all right and i could have just walked away but i wanted to go extra you know like always and try to find something thankfully my Lulu was actually a 1v9 machine and managed to kill, managed to get two kills here somehow. So yeah, that was pretty good, right? That was pretty good. But what I mean by this is that when you are having this kind of situation, right? This could probably destroy your mental very early into the game. What do I mean by destroying your mental? When you die early in the game, it's difficult, brother. It's so, so difficult. When you start the game being behind, everything, everything goes way harder bro like way way harder you struggle to try to get that lead back you struggle to try to do damage it's just eternal fight brother eternal fight so in moments like that to avoid losing your mental first thing that you need to do okay first thing that you need to do in situations like this is focus on your goal okay focus if you don't focus, you're gonna end up losing this. What do I mean focus on your goal? Well, first of all, why you're playing this, brother? If you are just gonna lose your mind every single time you're playing, bro, I recommend you go some to go and touch some grass right now, bro, okay? Go and touch some grass right now. If you are gonna go crazy every time something is going wrong. And I, I say that for myself, too, because I go crazy sometimes, too, all right? So, yeah. First thing here, focus. To keep your mental safe, all right? To keep your mental safe. You need to focus on your goal. Why are you playing? Okay. Why are you playing this game? If you focus on your goal, then it's going to be way easier to keep your mind in check. That is to say, I'm playing because I want to reach Plat. I'm playing because I want to reach Diamond. I'm playing because I want to reach 1k LP Challenger. All right. So since I keep my goal in mind, it's going to be way easier to perform. Second thing is that you need to breathe. You need to breathe, brother. I mean, you need to actually breathe. Like, I don't know. Like, that, that sounds like go touch some grass, actually. But no, brother, just breathe. Just breathe. And because you're allowed to do that thing, because you take your time to do this thing, you're going to see the next opportunity. The next opportunity to, to actually one minute in the match. Like here, for example, right? Here, I know Jin has no flash because he used his flash to, to commit. Maybe he had, maybe he hasn't. So he gets slow and there is no way he runs away, he runs away anymore, right? So this is this was pretty good. A nice weapon combination, I would say. Like Gravitum into Inferno Q and then Gravitum, Gravitum is slow and then Flash into hit with Crescendo so we get more hits in. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. You need to keep that on mind, all right? So that is the most important thing, okay? Most important thing, mental. And I show you just two things that help you keep your mental. Without this product, everything is useless, all right? Without mental, you are nothing. Without mental, it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You're going to end up losing. And that is something that we want to avoid, all right? So next thing, next thing that you need to keep track of all the time is that you need to be patient like for example here we did not try to go like crazy right away okay we, we were patient to wait for the right opportunity of this team walking up and punishing him okay punishing him and getting a kill then all this time all this that is happening here there is nothing that we are doing there is nothing that we are trying to look for why are we not trying to look for anything here it's because we don't have a summoner okay so in situations like this, when you don't really have the upper hand, when you already use your summoners, the best thing that you can do is just be patient, brother. Just be patient if you don't really have anything ahead, all right? So this thing here, the second step is just patience, brother, patience. But then again, it's easy to say it, but it's not easy to do it. What do I mean by this? That in order to be patient, to, be, to actually 
make the best use of this patient is that you need to minimize your losses what do i mean by minimizing your minimizing minimizing what do i mean by decreasing your losses is that sometimes you're gonna encounter situations where you are actually gonna have trouble trying to find anything right trying to find anything at all like for example here we we just need to run away from this kind of spot because gragas keeps showing both he keeps showing both again and again and again and we are not chasing him like we could try to chase him but brother this is where you require patience right this is where you require discipline you need to take you need to be very patient because you know you're not gonna take this you're not gonna take that you're gonna wait for your wave to crash on you and you actually gonna be able to perform way better by the way let me help you some let me help you with something really quick here because a lot of people have been asking this before we need to make sure that we actually let you watch this okay yeah like this you guys you guys want that right you guys wanted that last time anyway let's continue with this so by being patient you need to mean be patient patient be being patient you need to minimize your losses and you don't take that coin flip like for example that would have been a very very big coin flip trying to chase that gragas into a fight and we don't know where can win because jan is coming out maybe she doesn't maybe she does i don't know so by being patient we are allowed to not take this kind of fights unless we are winning right like for example here we are only taking fights that we know we can win because there is no way we lose this there is no way we lose this as long as we keep kiting because we have an insane amount of damage just with the lulu with the lulu buff right with that with that um we're more than good to go anyway there are two steps so far okay so keep that in mind because this is gonna save you some lp bro first mental second patience if you want to see the steps in between make sure to check the video again so you understand that better all right so next thing is three plan your fights plan you need to have a plan all the time you don't have a plan bro you are gone you're 100 gone all right like but you need to keep something in mind okay every single time that we're doing this kind of fights every single time that we are about to fight we're about to play we're about to do something the steps repeat and repeat every single fight every single fight you need to check your mental every single every single moment before a fight you need to check your mental you need to check your patience your patience because you cannot just run in and try to go crazy okay and you need to check how you are planning team fights the step that we are right now plan bro you need to plan always what do i mean by planning what i mean by planning is that you need to track the stuff that is actually gonna gonna kill you okay you need to track how they are gonna try to kill you and because you're tracking that you are going to be able to perform better in team fights that is to say you need to plan how are you going to use your summoners like for example here if i'm not planning how i'm going to chase this down then i will have used to either sidestep or i might get hit by my by the tornado and i get hit by the tornado and then i try to flash and use ghost and maybe i catch maybe i catch just all right but because i have a plan here in this little team fight i have a plan my plan is okay if i see the tornado if i see this tornado i'm just gonna flash all right i'm just gonna flash i don't have the time to go over it so i'm just gonna flash and because i see that i don't need to rely on my reaction time like a demon okay i can rely on my mind i can actually rely on planning team fights ahead and i flash and free kill easy peasy all right so like i said before this kind of stuff is very useful for every single every single little team fight every single every single big team fight i didn't even lame face brother so how do you do this track you need to track what is actually gonna kill you okay you need to track it and then you need to plan how are you gonna use your summoners how are you gonna use your summoners to avoid that thing that kills you or just wait it out you can do any of those two all right now here is the last thing the most important thing i would say because all these things are meaningless if you don't take the last step the last two steps what are the last two steps you don't need you don't hesitate okay when you see an opportunity you are gonna take it like for example here we are not hesitating to ult we are playing this very easily we are, we are punishing our enemies but overall let me tell you the game doesn't really go that well okay the game really doesn't go like crazy right what actually happens in this game is that we end up losing by a lot because our, our team is inting but we come back with a miracles fight all right 
and it's very very difficult though very 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 difficult bro because even though like you see this right you see this you need to hesitate like, for example this is a perfect example of what, what i mean by not hesitating like we are planning our team fights we know that gragas might kill us we know that jana can kill us with a tornado if Jasu is close we know that gragas can kill us with any knockup and jin can follow up all right we know all that so once there is nothing about that once we see that we can actually go in we don't hesitate we don't hesitate at all okay no gragas are no gragas stun follow up all right you see pretty easy brother but you need to you need to have that on mind okay you need to keep track you need to keep track of that because if you don't keep track of that what's gonna happen is that you're gonna end up doing that kind of follow-up but way too slow and listen to me brother you can only do this follow-up you can only be able to do this kind of stuff if you are following all the steps you keep your mental in check and you are patient to wait for that stuff when they woke up you are not hesitant you are planning actually you are planning how you're gonna you how you're gonna fight you are planning how you're gonna actually fight that kind of what you are planning how you're gonna deal with that kind of team fight once they waste their cc all right that's how you need to do it oh of course fourth you don't hesitate hesitation brother hesitation is defeat okay hesitation is defeat so you never hesitate and you know what is the funny part about this the last step the last step brother is 1v9 all right 1v9 brother because look at this thing if i mess up if i mess up i get destroyed if i try to do my best like for example here i'm planning okay i'm planning this is another example this is another perfect example one mental safe okay two patience i'm being patient stacking my chakrams here stacking my chakrams slowly and surely and respecting the jasu range then third i'm planning what i'm gonna do what do i plan here if jasu stacks sir q he's gonna try to e me or eq me and one shot me bro he's gonna and he one shots me just without he, he destroys me so i'm being patient and i'm planning also what is gonna happen like i said right i'm planning what is gonna happen am i planning that i can go into the next step once he doesn't have that once he's trying to stack it i'm gonna punish him so i'm not gonna hesitate to go on him to, to go and kill him pretty fast right like here now here is the spot right here is the spot i'm playing home what you're gonna use my summoner so he has now he has the tier q and he's making some space for he for him to use eq on me i'm gonna let him do that i'm not gonna let him do that all right pretty good but overall like you may think yeah but you are still in this game because your team is good brother my team like my smaller died like 10 times brother has negative win rate that brother is not trying to do anything my pantheon keeps flaming everybody my silence is useless i'm 1v9 in this match bro with this lulu trying to do everything possible to 1v9 and win this no matter what dude and not hesitating not giving up going crazy not losing my mental doing everything possible to just win no matter what and this thing happens still brother look at this bro everybody goes with one hp dude and uh, you know what can i do here the only thing i can do here is just i should have out attack before using that inferno q that's the only thing i can see here bro there is nothing else you know what i mean like that is crazy brother it's crazy thankfully thankfully they end up messing up too like for example here just so jumping on me that means nothing i just out attack him i'm guiding that and this all this is planning okay all you might think that this is not planning but i'm pla i'm actually thinking about all this stuff before doing it like for example why am i taking this tornado i'm taking this tornado because it is faster for me to kill him when he ults me than trying to chase him here and he trying to run away because i'm not gonna catch him unless i have goals or less Lulu uses speed on me i'm not gonna be able to catch him and he might be able to kite me but if i take the tornado what's gonna happen he's gonna ult me and then just so i mean i mean and then Patrick is gonna press double g on him and then lulu is gonna polymorph and then i'm gonna have a free kill here right and that's it a free kill that that is way faster than trying to chase him and because of that the nar not does not arrive on time his, his cc is useless and i can pick up kills very easily okay now next thing is just catching catching up some kills nothing big now let me tell you something brother 
we are doing everything possible to come back from this match that I mess up to. I mess up sometimes. All right. And because of that, the game gets very, very difficult. Like, like for example, here, right? You need to be patient. You need to avoid stuff like that. And because we bait that stuff, right? Because we bait that stuff, we maintain. We maintain overreach. We maintain overextend. And that stuff allows us to punish them very easily, all right? Very, very easily. And the th same thing keeps repeating. Again and again, I'm not committing like a demo because I need to be careful. I'm not aligning until I see they use all the CC. When I see they use all the CC, I'm just going in trying to catch kills, okay? But even then, it's so hard to catch them, brother. It's so hard to catch them. Because first of all, I don't have the mood speed to catch them. And then second, they are kind of, you know, kind of very, very fast. You know, that's a Jin. That's a Nart that has extra move speed when he gets little. That's a Grag as a dash. That's a Janna that gives move speed to every single one on his team. You know, it's crazy. It's just so crazy, brother. But let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. All of these things come and carry the match. All of these steps that I said before carry the match just at the last moment, okay? Just at the last moment. All these things were pretty good, allow us to stay in game. By the end of the game, that is how we win, okay? That is how we win. Okay, you're gonna see this. You are gonna see this. This is crazy, brother. And let me let me let me tell you a little bit about this, okay? We are allowed to do this because we keep our mental safe. We actually keep our mental safe. We did not lose our mind even though our team was in okay? Because you might not see it. You might not see it at all. But our team is running it down, brother. Our team is actually running it down, dude. You 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 cannot. You cannot you cannot tell, you cannot tell that our team is running it down, but they are, brother. They are completely running it down. And what do I mean by this? What I mean is that they went crazy with this, brother. They actually went insane. Like, they are running down. They, they, they inted so much. So, so much. And I'm going to show this to you so you guys believe me. Because you might say, nah, but your team was doing something. Your team was trying to be helpful. No, brother. No, 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 bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. You need to watch this. You 100% need to watch this, okay? Can I get it? Okay. Look at this. This brother only pick up kills at the last couple team fights because here and here I did assist. Brother was 8-11 before that. Okay, 8-11. He just pick up kills at the, la at the end of the game. 10 deaths. 11 deaths. 11 deaths. Okay? You see what I mean? You see what I mean by these guys being useless. The only one who was trying his, his best was this Lulu, bro. The Lulu was trying his best. And on the other hand, we have these guys. Nar was kind of not really fed, but end up being useful. End up having more levels than Pantheon. Same Gragas. Smolder just pick up kills. And you see, bro, we are the ones who are, who are sustaining this game, bro. If it wasn't for us, if it wasn't for us trying to go crazy with every single play that we have, we will have lost this. We will have lost this. Okay, to summarize, before you watch the crazy play, brother, to summarize, mental, right? Mental. You need to keep your mental safe. If you lose your mental, everything is going to go wrong. Then you need to be patient. Patience. Without patience, you don't win this game, okay? Patience is the most important stuff. Now, steer it. You need to plan your team fights you need to have a plan all the time if you don't plan your summoners you don't plan about what is going to kill you then you do nothing and the fourth one is hesitation right don't hesitate hesitate that is not a team bro you need to watch the opportunity you see the opportunity you take the opportunity all right and now fight the step we all nine we all, we all know bro we all know 1v9 brother we all know 1v9 is the last step 1v9 is the step that allows you to go crazy that allows you to win every single game and let me tell you something let me tell you something very quickly, bro. You are going to see it right now. This game goes crazy. And it shows, bro. It shows. It shows that we actually go crazy in this match, okay? Look at this. Just look at this, brother. I know, I know it might seem like I'm actually trolling, right? I'm actually trolling. And I understand you may think that. I understand you may think that I'm a more extended. But brother, I'm not hesitating. I know what's going to happen. I know how I'm going to play this. I know what I'm going to do. And because I know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to play this, I'm not afraid, brother. I'm not afraid. 
I know they're gonna try to flash me. I know they might try to engage on me like this. But I have flash, bro. And as long as I have flash, and as long as I have 5 ping, or 4 ping for a mess, I can 1v9 anybody, bro. Anybody, okay? And they look like they inted, right? They look like they inted. In reality, they got baited. I mean, it's very... Like, it's very hard to pull this off. What do I mean very hard? It's not hard to press flash. What I mean is very hard is that... Listen, imagine. Imagine I do this. Okay, imagine I do this. And imagine what happens if I don't flash. I insta die. My teams follow up. My Lulu dies. My Silas dies. My Pantheon dies. My Smolder dies. We lose the game. And it's all my fault. Alright? It's all my fault. But if I flash, I make them look like fools. And we win the game. So this is very, this is very tricky, right? Like either they look like fools or I look like fools, like a fool. So the only way I'm, the only way I'm pulling this off is because I, I trust my own skills. Okay, I trust I'm gonna be able to flash that engage. And now let me tell you the results of this match. Okay, wait, what happened with my hands? Now let me tell you the results of this match. Okay, very quickly, let's look at this match, bro. Look at that. Look at this damage, bro. You think I was kidding? No, look at this Smolder, bro. Look at this Silas, dude. Look at this Pantheon. Pantheon tried his best, though. Lulu was the best. Look at this, brother. Look at this. This Silas had a little bit more damage than, than the Yana, dude. Less damage than the Jin. I had to go crazy to win this match. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.